here we have Pixie, and we're going to do some outdoor play studio. So here we have Pixie, we're going to do some outdoor place. Um, I have the bed right here, and it's kind of windy, so I'm hoping you can hear me. So first, we're just going to do some sits and some downs. So sit. Yes. My ward. Wait till she's finished chewing. Did you drop it? All right. Hey. Down. Stop. Down. Yes. And reward. And I'm going to wait until she's finished chewing. And then, since she's older, I'm just going to point to the bed. I will not give her a treat when she gets on the bed. I will only give her treats when she's off the bed. So we're going to start. I'm going to lace. Yes. And then I'm just going to give her a positive marker. Uh -uh. Lace. I don't want her getting off, so I just said, uh-uh, and put her right back on that bed. She's been, been, she's been being really good about this, but um, today it's kind of, we've done it outside before, but this is a, the, this is really nice out. It's not like hot or super cold, so it's been raining too. So it's, um, not new, but it's kind of been a while, so getting off, it's fine. She's still learning, and she is still a puppy. I'm just kind of walking in circles around her. I'll go up and reward her. Good girl. Good place. Good place. Uh -uh. Good girl. So she dropped that back one off. So she's still up. And I'll go sit right over here. So it's kind of a distraction. She kind of wants to come off and come sit with me, but she not going to because she is in that um, place. Come in. I'll go over here so you can see me a little better. Um, ow. Um, so she's been really good with all of her stays. Last week I think we did stays uh, in her video. Um, she's just a super sweet, fun, loving puppy. She's big. She's getting big. Um, and I like to go up and reward her just because she's being good. Good girl. Good girl. Lace. Uh-uh. Lace. So I don't want her to think me rewarding her means she can get off, so I'm just going to give her that verbal uh-uh, and then that kind of naturally corrects her and makes her think otherwise. And she knows this command. She's been doing it, um... For about 15-ish minutes or more and I can walk around um, like inside I can walk all the way around the building closing doors oh, excuse me um, and she's been really good she just normally stays so I'm gonna kind of just walk around the field um, we have a very nice feel here at Lewis Manor so I'm just gonna kind of walk around and I'm gonna tell her place and kind of affirm to her voice and I'm just gonna walk all over Oh, she's giving me some warnings or some signs that I can get off. So we have this disc golf thing here. So I'm just going to ring all these. And then I'm going to walk over here. We have the picnic tables and trees. And then I'll go up and reward her. Good place. 
little gun. I'm going to walk around. And then I'll go up in my water again. Just praise rewarding. I don't want to give her treats during the place or any stays. Good. A lace pixie place. Because it kind of gives them the idea that they can break because they got that reward they were looking for. They're not going to be as motivated to get it towards the end. Uh uh. So I don't really want her putting her head on the ground. So just pull it uh uh. And she kind of knew. So she just popped her head right back up. Walking around in different patterns. And I keep making eye contact and I just keep breaking that eye contact. Um, but she normally always keeps her eyes on me just to see what I'm doing. Um, if I'm going to give her that um, release word or not. But I don't want to give it from a far away distance just in case. Um, we don't want them to build the anticipation like, oh, when's she going to give it to me? You don't want to give it to them when they're expecting it. So I'm going to go up and reward her again. Good place. Place. And then I'm going to kind of remind her as I'm walking away that um, place is still, she's still in that place. Um, just in case she thought I was giving the release word, going up and petting her, which there is only one word for the release word, and she does know it, so when she does hear it, um, even if I accidentally say it or something, she will get up and walk off because that was the release word. So I'm just going to walk really far away, place. So she did drop her leg off, so I'm just going to pop her leg right back up on there and then drop her leg off. She's just kind of watching me from around the car back. And I just walked all the way down there and around those trees, so that was pretty good. Um, I think she accidentally dropped her leg off or was thinking about getting off. So now I'm going to go reward her. Good place. I didn't want to reward her when her leg was dropped off. Um, just because that's not what we want them to do, really. We want them to stay on the bed completely. All parts of their body need to stay on the bed at all times. Now, this bed is a little bit small for her, but this is about the biggest size we have, so we we'll have to make it work. So then I'm going to go up and reward her, and then I'll give her that release word. Good girl. Okay. Yes. And then lots of treats. Lots of praise. Good. Good girl. Good girl. And then I'll have her do it again. Police.
So I'm not going to repeat that word. I want her to get on there. Ah, ah. I want her to get on the bed with just that one place and point. So I just kept pointing and then she got on there. So then I gave her that positive marker word. Yes. And I did not reward it with a treat. Um, because she is old enough where she does know that that's what it means. She just doesn't really want to get on there because she knows how long she's going to be sitting on there. So now I'm just walking around all the trees and the picnic tables. And again, the lake. And I'm not going to do this one for as long as the last time. Um, and you can give her them toys or bones or whatever on the place um, spot, whether you use a dog bed, a rug, um, a mat, it doesn't matter, a corunda bed like we use. Ah, ah. So she's putting her head down, which is a no-go, so I just told her the verbal command or the verbal warning we use, which is uh uh and she kind of corrected herself. So I'm going to walk all the way down by those trees again, and I'm just going to remind her of the lake, and then I'm going to walk all the way down there. And I'm gonna come up and reward her. Yes! Good place, good place, Pixie. Yes! Good girl, good girl. Because she never even stepped off or moved. That's when I'm gonna reward that good behavior. Um, that was really good. Good girl. She kind of did keep an eye on me, but she knew she was supposed to stay there. She's keeping her thumb in the air, so it doesn't count. Touch the ground, good girl. Good girl, yes. Place. I'm just gonna remind her again. I'm gonna walk over here a little bit. It's really windy right now. some construction going on in the background so those are some good distractions just to be able to do some with distractions. That's a really scary spider. Gross. And then I'll go up and reward her and that's when I'll give her this word. Good. Yes. Good. Good girl. Okay. Yes. So she did hesitate just because she wasn't completely sure. That was really good of her. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Yes. It was a good girl, Pixie. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And then I have a couple of treats left, so we'll just do some sits and some downs without the bed in the way. Sit. dropped it of course there's lots of bugs out here so if you see me swatting my head it's not it's just because the bugs 
All right, Pixie. No. No, just stick. Down. Yes. So I'm gonna tell her the down with this hand and then I'm gonna reward her with the treats in this hand. So if you have treats in the sand, as long as you're you are doing those hand signals when you ask them, that's okay. Down. But for like the down where you want all your hands flat, that's when you would put the treats in the sand. I'm gonna grab some more treats here. Down. Yes. There's a lots of dogs barking up at the top right now, so that is what she's looking at. Um, and there's also people walking dogs over there. Sit. Sit. Yes. Down. Yes. So we just want to start off um, strong and then end with some just stronger commands like sits and downs. Um, just so kind of end positive. You want to start positive with some sits or downs. Um, and then ending positive is always important just so they look forward and you can kind of end on a good note. Come here. Oh, did you find a treat on the ground? Probably one that you dropped, Pixie. Pixie, come. Yes. Sit. Yes. You want this one that you dropped? Down. Yes. Down. Stay over here. Back up so we can actually see you when you lay down. Down. Pixie. Sit. She's definitely hot because it's getting really hot. Down. So I'm not going to repeat it. I want her to do it all on her own. That's my yes. That's a new rewarder. And then just positive praise, of course. Um, we always end with lots and lots of praise just so they look forward to next time. Um, we want them this to be a positive experience for them and we want them to learn and grow. And if you end on a bad note or you end just frustrated or kind of without giving them that extra, just a bit of attention they always crave, um, it kind of just puts a bad image on you or what they're learning. So just um, making sure to give them just that little extra bit of attention. They just love it and it's like, just puts a cherry on top. Good girl.